Welcome back <laughs> to the morning show. We know that for every action there is a reaction, but why? The wise guy Matt Sullen is here to explain to us and show us through a very interesting little demonstration that you've got. Oh yeah, we've got lots of demos and both you guys are going to be helpers today or guinea pigs or something like that. <laughs> Assistance. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and uh, the question I asked last week was, if a bug hits the windshield of your car as you're driving, which one feels the bigger force? Is it the right. bug or the windshield? And the answer is, I thought it was the windshield, but I was... But that's not necessarily the case. It, it's kind of a trick question. They feel the same force. And the reason is Newton's third law. Newton's third law says that forces always come in pairs, mm -hmm. and those forces are always exactly the same size and point in opposite direction. So the bug hits the windshield, <clears throat> it exerts a little force on the windshield, which the windshield hardly notices. The windshield exerts the same little force on the bug, which the bug really notices because it goes splat. You don't have to right. take the, the entire mass of the car into the equation. That's right. So, so basically, the car doesn't care, the, the bug does, but the force they feel is exactly the same. <laughs> so it would be like throwing a penny at a building. The penny and the building would have... Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly right. Okay. Same. Quick learner. Very good. Ooh. And so I had a couple of people send me really good answers to this, and so Sarah... Rivera of Urbana got the t-shirt this week and uh, Will Givens of Catlin again sent me a really awesome answer. He's a six-year-old kid who sends answers every week. So six I got to give physics him a physics whiz. He's a physics whiz, wow. absolutely. And so, but let's, let's demonstrate uh, Newton's first okay. law. So if you could help me with this. What Newton's first law says that, is that <clears throat> if I push on Matt, okay, I exert a force on him that way. However, I can feel in my finger that he's pushing back on me. His body pushes on my finger, and those forces are exactly the same. And so we're going to illustrate this by standing on these standing skateboards. On skateboard. So this is kind of dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way. And I'm just going to stand here, and you're going to put your hands on mine and shove. All right. And notice what happens. We both move. And I go down the ramp. Right. He goes down like this way. Even though I didn't do any pushing, I just stood there, held my hands. Mm -hmm. The force that he exerted on me was the same as the force that I exerted on him. It doesn't matter who does the pushing. And that's Newton's third law. That's why we both reacted and went. We both reacted. Exactly right. Okay. Now, you don't have to push against something as big as a person. You could just take this medicine ball and you can just throw it at me. And that gets you started. And I said, not as far in that case, but... Not as fast, because this thing is lighter than I am. But if you just chuck it, right, you start moving. And so you can push against something that's small, and you can still get moving. So an example of that is right here, this little fan. What a fan does is it tr spins around and it pushes against the air. So I turn on this little fan cart, and the thing starts to move, just like an airplane does. And I brought an airplane with me, but I broke the rubber band before you guys came in the room, so I can't use that. <laughs> now, you could ask the question, could you put a fan on a sailboat and have the sailboat push it, or have the fan push the sailboat? And the answer is... You see that in a lot of cartoons. Actually, it's just because the table is crooked. No, you can't. That's what the answer is. <laughs> so what happens here is that, in this case, the fan pushes the air that way, the air pushes the fan that way, but the air then pushes against this thing with exactly the same force, so nothing really happens. So those forces just cancel. So you can't, you can't have a fan on a sailboat and make it go anywhere, but you can certainly have a fan on an airplane and cause acceleration. And what we're going to do in the next segment, the rocket Robert, car. is we're going to do the rocket car, and we're going to send you shuttling across the floor at a high speed. <laughs> And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Did you bring a helmet? Yes, I did. I'm set. <laughs> That's coming up in the next time we visit with the wise guy. We'll still head on the morning show, see where we're headed to in today's Wish You Were Here segment. Plus, you don't have time to slave over a hot stove every day. Today's Good Housekeeping Report will show you some gadgets to help you save some time in your kitchen. You're watching the morning show.